So I am in the process of getting uh, supper ready. And right now I have uh, a pot of coffee going as usual. We drink lots of coffee around here. Um, I got some mashed, uh, some mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness. I got some potatoes cooking that I'm going to mash. Um, I had bought that ground beef yesterday for like seven something. And basically I got enough uh, to fill the bottom here. Plenty to fill the bottom. And the way that I make my shepherd's pie now, typically I would have this loaded with vegetables. My son loves them. Um, but tonight my niece is going to be here with us. So and she's a very picky eater. So I just left everything out. She doesn't like onions or anything like that. So I just put ground beef. But I will put some ketchup. Um, that's how I make my shepherd's pie. I like it to, to be a little, like, uh, I don't know, saucy, my hamburger, I guess you could say. So I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup, not too much, just to kind of blend it all together. And I was left with a bag of ground beef, which um, will be another meal in itself. It could be a couple burgers. It could be a little spaghetti sauce, anything. So I'm going to put this in my freezer. So that's not bad, two, two meals with uh, the ground beef. I probably could have used a little less here and a little less here and probably even made three to really, really stretch it. But it's all good. I'm happy. I'm content. There will be leftovers with this. Um, it's just going to be Jay, my niece, and Riley eating it anyways. So I'm just going to wait for these to boil. And then I have... My can of cream corn. Sometimes I'll use like whole corn as well, but tonight I'm kind of cheating and I'm just going to use a can of cream corn and then I'll put my mashed potatoes on top and then I usually put a little bit of cheese. So when I have that all assembled and ready to go in the oven, I will bring you guys back and show you guys. And I also have corn on the cob too that I got to peel and get into a pot because that's going to be like the side, the side of dish I guess to go with um, the shepherd's pie so I'll be back when it's all assembled This is basically what it looks like. I got my mashed potatoes on there. And now I'm just going to add some pepper. There's my pepper. And then next I'm going to add some grated cheese. Just a little bit on the top. And there it is with the cheese. And then now we stick it in a 350 degree oven. For, I don't know, just until basically the cheese melts. Because everything's cooked right. So... I'm just going to stick it in there, heat it up, warm it up, whatever. Um, I'd say 15 minutes, maybe 20. Um, I'll let you know. This is the shepherd's pie. It's all done out of the oven. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I got hiccups. And now I'm going to just butter them up some corn on the cob. And that is tonight's supper. So there you go. A nice corn on the cob and some shepherd's pie. And then I also... Open the fruit tray from yesterday's grocery haul. You guys seen that? Um, so they're snacking on fruit as well. And they have a nice glass of cold ice water for supper. So that is Friday night supper. Some shepherd's pie, corn, and fruit. This is what we are having for a dessert. Um, it's a Kit Kat cake. Walmart had them on clearance for $2.50. You can't pass up a cake for $2.50. Come on. So I picked that up and I'm going to cut some for the kids for dessert.